Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Proverbs chapter 9, verses 1 through 10. The Reverend Roy Askins is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from Proverbs chapter 9. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her beasts. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her young women to call from the highest places in the town. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. To him who lacks sense, she says, Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways and live and walk in the way of insight. Whoever corrects a scoffer gets himself abuse, and he who reproves a wicked man incurs injury. Do not reprove a scoffer or he will hate you. Reprove a wise man, and he will love you. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be be still wiser. Teach a righteous man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. This is the word of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom has sent out her young women into the streets, And she is calling. Are you listening? It can be hard to hear her call amidst the cacophony of noises out there, amidst all the static of a world filled with folly. How will you tell the difference between the call of wisdom and the call of folly? Well, you just heard from Proverbs how wisdom calls. You heard of her work. A little later on in this chapter, Solomon also describes the woman folly. Here's how he describes her. The woman folly is loud. She is seductive and knows nothing. She sits at the door of her house. She takes a throne on the highest places of the town, calling to those who pass by who are going straight on their way. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. And to him who lacks sense, she says, stolen water is sweet and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he does not know that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of Sheol. In many ways, they sound similar. Just as Satan at times hides himself as an angel of light, so also folly mimics wisdom sometimes in order to snare the simple into the depths of Sheol. So I ask you again, how will you tell the difference between wisdom and folly amidst the cacophony of this world? First note the work they do. Wisdom calmly builds her house. She hews her pillars out of stone. Just as the church is also built upon the stone of Christ, he himself builds this church upon himself and holds it together. But folly, folly does no such work. She does not build a church. She does not build anything. But she stands in the marketplace and brays like a donkey. She bellows like a cow, blundering her way around. Avoid the braggart and the fool who makes noise, but knows nothing, as Solomon describes folly. Note also how wisdom prepares a table. She slaughters her sacrifice, she mixes her wine, she sets the table, she prepares food for her guests. She does not send them out to steal their own water, evidently a metaphor for adultery. Folly makes no such preparation. She simply makes offers without any substance. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. But there is nothing there for the simple to partake of. Wisdom indeed makes this same call. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. But she does not send the simple off to their own devices, to trust in their own efforts. She has prepared the feast already. Come, eat of it. It's already laid out. Leave your simple ways and live. Live in the way of insight. Note also how the call is made. Once again, wisdom prudently builds her house, and she sends out her young women to call. She does not set herself up on the high places, the places where you go to worship the pagan gods. Folly, however, she goes out herself, and she has built nothing, offers nothing, and then takes a throne amidst the idols of this world, on the high places where you go to worship the false gods. Once again, though these two women portrayed by Solomon may seem to make similar calls, 
they may seem to both offer banquets, they could not, in fact, be further apart. Wisdom builds a house, fills it with food, and provides for those who enter it. Folly builds nothing and fills the land with obnoxious noise. She sends those who come to her not merely to steal another's water, but to eat bread in secret. Wisdom leads to insight. Folly leads to the depths of Sheol. The key in knowing the difference between these two, between folly and wisdom, is ultimately what they offer. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. That is what wisdom offers. Wisdom who comes down from above. No one has ever seen God, the only God who is at the Father's side. He has made him known. This is true wisdom. The call of wisdom is not to an earthly wisdom, not to know how to tell this man he did the wrong thing and that man he did the right thing. The call of wisdom is the eternal call of heaven, the knowledge of God, and it comes only through our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's precisely what he brings us. Heed his call. He brings true wisdom, true knowledge of the Father. Apart from Him, we cannot know God. Apart from Him, we cannot have the fear of the Lord. And without the fear of the Lord, there is no knowledge of the Holy One. Only in Jesus, in the wisdom who became man and died for the sins of the world, do we gain wisdom and insight. And here it is. Come and eat. Receive what is prepared for you. Now note here, this eating is not merely a physical eating with the mouth, but it's in some sense an eating with the ear. Hear what, what, the word that is implanted in your ear. Receive this meal of God's word, prepared for you, and eat of it. You bring nothing to the table, and you have nothing to offer, as our hymn so said so well. Do not go and steal what is not yours. Do not seek after other gods on the high places. Leave those simple ways and live. This is the wisdom that comes down from above, that makes the wise man wiser, and the righteous man increase in learning. Nothing less than our Lord Jesus Christ himself. In his name, amen.